Hey Luxies! Today, we'll be talking about the world's top wealthiest monarchs. Kings have ruled over large regions and acquired incredible fortunes throughout history. From oil-rich monarchies to those with diversified business holdings, these monarchs are among the wealthiest people on the planet, having amassed enormous fortunes over the centuries. This video takes a look at the top 5 wealthiest monarchs in history, including how much money each one is worth and how they got there. Welcome to Luxury of the Day, inspiring you to unlock your billionaire potential. If you are new to this channel and you like luxury, join us and subscribe for more inspiring luxury videos. Now, let's get started. We begin with the fifth ranked person on our list, Qatar's Emir Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani. In terms of his own wealth, he is estimated to be worth about $2.5 billion. Qatar's current ruler, Emir Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, is the country's eighth Emir. He has been in charge of Qatar since 2013 and has seen it become an economic powerhouse. The country has positioned itself as a center for international trade and business thanks to its massive investments in multiple sectors, including energy, real estate, and infrastructure. It is worth noting that Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani is not only the Emir of Qatar, but also the chairman of the Supreme Council for Economic Affairs and Investment and the commander in chief of the Qatar Armed Forces. Next on our list at number 4, we have King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud of Saudi Arabia. With an estimated net worth of $17 billion, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud is the current king of Saudi Arabia and has been in power since 2015. King Salman's wealth is largely attributed to his business interests and investments, which include real estate, construction, and media. He is said to have significant holdings in major companies, including Citigroup and JP Morgan Chase. In addition, King Salman's net worth is also believed to have been boosted by his role as the head of one of the world's largest oil producing countries. In spite of his wealth, King Salman is known for his philanthropic efforts and is considered to be one of the most generous monarchs in the world. He has established several foundations and charities that focus on improving the lives of people in need, both in Saudi Arabia and around the world. His focus on healthcare and education has led to significant investments in these areas, and his contributions have helped to improve the lives of countless individuals. Qatar has recently hosted the FIFA World Cup. It's been said that it's one of the best FIFA World Cup celebrations. Qatar has gained a reputation that when we say Qatar, it means wealthy, extravagant, and grand. Were you surprised that Emir Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani of Qatar came in number 5 on this list? We were too! Tell us in the comment section below! Coming in at number 3, we have King Hassan al Bolkiya of Brunei, with an estimated net worth of $20 billion. King Hassan al Bolkiya is the current Sultan and Yang de Pertuan of Brunei, a small but wealthy country located on the island of Borneo in Southeast Asia. King Hassan al Bolkiya has been ruling Brunei since 1967 and is one of the longest serving monarchs in the world. His wealth comes from the country's vast oil and natural gas reserves, which account for the majority of its GDP. He is known for his lavish lifestyle and is often referred to as one of the world's richest men. He has a collection of over 7,000 cars, including many luxury brands such as Rolls Royce, Bentley, and Ferrari and is known to have extravagant taste in real estate with several palaces and residences around the world. 
Despite his wealth and extravagant lifestyle, King Hassanal Bolkiya is highly regarded for his humility and approachable nature. He is widely respected for his commitment to the people of Brunei and his dedication to improving their lives. Under his leadership, Brunei has become one of the most prosperous and stable countries in Southeast Asia, and its citizens enjoy a high standard of living. At number 2, we have King Mahavajira Longkorn of Thailand. With an estimated net worth of $30 billion, King Mahavajira Longkorn, also known as King Rama X, has been ruling Thailand since 2016. He inherited a throne from his father, King Bumibol Adulyade, and has since inherited the wealth that comes with it. King Mahavajira Longkorn's wealth is largely attributed to his extensive business interests, which include holdings in major companies and investments in real estate. He is also the beneficiary of several large trusts and funds established by previous Thai monarchs. King Mahavajira Longkorn is also known for his commitment to preserving Thai culture and tradition. He has made efforts to promote traditional Thai arts and crafts, and has initiated a number of programs aimed at preserving the country's historical and cultural heritage. Finally, at number 1, we have King Carl XVI, Gustav of Sweden. With an estimated net worth of $70 billion, King Carl XVI Gustav has been ruling Sweden since 1973, and his wealth comes from the Swedish royal family's vast wealth, which has been accumulated over centuries. The Swedish royal family's wealth comes from a number of investments in real estate, companies, and other assets. King Carl XVI Gustav is one of the richest monarchs in the world and is known for his extravagant lifestyle and his love for luxury. In conclusion, these five kings are just a few examples of the vast wealth that can be accumulated by monarchs, from oil-rich kingdoms to monarchies with investments in multiple industries. These kings have managed to amass vast wealth, making them some of the richest individuals in the world. It's truly amazing to see the wealth and power that these kings have been able to accumulate throughout history. And it will be interesting to see how this wealth continues to be passed down from generation to generation. Thank you for watching the video, Luxies, and don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one.